In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Gecko Lib mod for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment. And it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this where it will provide you with all of the necessary tools and files that you will need. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to step number one and that is to install a mod loader. Now there's many other mod loaders that you could use but for this video we're going to be working with Fabric because that is the most optimized one for Gecko Lib. But anyways guys underneath step number one you're going to see this link that says fabricmc.net and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it just like so. It is then going to bring you to a page that looks like this and all you want to do is you want to select on this option that says download universal jar. Alright now depending on your web browser you may be able to see the file on the top right just like so. However if you don't see it what you could always do is you can go ahead and open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. But anyways what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the fabric installer to your desktop just like so. And I recommend that you guys do the same thing just for clarity purposes and it will make the process a little bit easier. Alright, the next thing you want to do is you want to head back over to the website and step number two is to download Gecko Lib for your Minecraft version. So underneath step number two, you're going to see this link over here. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it just like so and it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this. From here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate Gecko Lib for the version of Minecraft that you're trying to play on along with the compatible mod loader that you're trying to use. So for this video, we're using Fabric, but obviously if you wanted to, you could use Forge or NeoForge, but Fabric is definitely one of the more popular options. So what you would wanna do is you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see Fabric right over here. So you just wanna make sure that it is compatible with your game version and the mod loader that you're using. So again, for this one does work for 1.21.8 and Fabric. So let's go ahead and download this round right here. So all you wanna do is you wanna press on download just like so. And again, you want to go ahead and drag and drop the file to your desktop just like so. All right, then let's head back over to the website. So if you're trying to do this on Fabric, then you're going to need Fabric API, which is an accompanying mod. So let me go ahead and quickly download it. So again, if you're using Fabric like we are in this video, then you need to download Fabric API. So make sure you download it for Minecraft 1.21.8. So yep, here it is. So let's just do that. All right, so now let's go ahead and drag and drop Fabric API to our desktop just like so. All right, then head back over to the website. And the next thing we need to do is we need to install Java 21. So in order to run any type of mods, shaders, etc., you will need to install Java. So underneath step number four, you're going to see a link to oracle.com. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that. And it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this. From here, please select on JDK21, just like so. Then you want to select on your operating system. And if you're on a Windows, for example, you would go ahead and install the x64 installer right over here. And it is basically going to walk you through the entire setup wizard for Java. It is going to let you know exactly what you need to do. And it really doesn't take too much time to download Java. So that's where you go ahead and install Java. All right. So afterwards, once you go ahead and install Java, you can go ahead and minimize out of your web browser. And at the moment, we should have four things. Number one, we should have Java installed on our system. We should have Fabric installer, the Gecko library mod, and also Fabric API. What you want to do first is you want to right click on Fabric API, then select on Open With, then select on Java TM Platform SE Binary. You should see this option if you already have Java installed on your device. All right, so once you went ahead and select on Java, it is going to take you to a page that looks like this. And where it says Minecraft version, please select on the version of Minecraft you're working with. Again, you want to make sure throughout this entire video you are working with the same version of Minecraft. But anyways, make sure that Create Profile is selected, then go ahead and press on Install just like so. Then it will say successfully installed. So go ahead and just press on OK. Then you can close out of the fabric installer. And all you want to do here is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, please go ahead and select on Java Edition. Then go to the top menu and press over here where it says installations. Now, where it says versions, you want to make sure that the box that says modded is actually turned on. And then you guys should be able to locate fabric loader right over here. And if you don't see it for whatever reason, go ahead and press on new installation and go ahead and type it out and see if you're able to find it that way. But anyways, what you want to do from here is you want to go to the right and you want to press on this folder icon over here that says open installations folder. Then a bunch of folders like this will appear, but do not worry. All you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find a folder called mods in all lowercase. If you're not able to find a folder called mods, you can actually make the folder yourself by right clicking, then pressing on new, then folder, then calling it mods in all lowercase. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the mods folder. So at the moment, the mods folder is empty. So what you want to do is you want to minimize the Minecraft launcher. Then you want to drag and drop both the Gecko library mod and fabric API inside of this folder, just like so. And then all you want to do is you want to close out of the mods folder, then return to the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and select on play in the version selector. Please make sure that fabric loader is selected, then go ahead and press on play just like so. And now it is going to go ahead and load into Minecraft. 
All right, guys, so once you're in Minecraft, you'll notice in the bottom left, it will say modded. So all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and load into any Minecraft world. And here we are in Minecraft. And from here, you can begin using Gecko in order to create your projects and stuff like that. And in general, have a ton of fun. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.